It would appear that Japanese devs in the 80s and 90s just loved hiding hidden messages in their video games. This week, we have yet another for you, although this one is a little more risque than most. In 1986, TechnoQuest released Super Monkey Adventure for the Famicom. The game was based on the Journey to the West novel, and is considered by many to be one of the hardest and most nonsensical games ever released. It was promoted as a role-playing adventure game, and these days falls into the action RPG genre. But we're not here to talk about the game itself, or how hard it is. We're here to talk about that hidden message. This message wasn't discovered until 2002, 16 years after the game's release, when someone analysing the ROM data just happened to come across it. And what exactly did that message have to say? Well... This is designer Nakajima Kaoru. I'm 26, born in Toyokawa City, Aichi Prefecture, 1960. I want to lick nani nani. I want a woman who'll nani nani me. I love nani nani and nani nani. Those final beeped out words were related to a woman's private parts. Indeed. The designer gives his name as Nakajima Kaoru. Somebody with this name has continued working on graphic design and character art for a while now, including work on Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Is this the same person? Well, probably, but little else is known about him other than this message he left on a game back in the mid-80s. It seemed to be all the rage at the time. And it did take nearly two decades until someone found it, so he certainly did well hiding it. Why he felt the desire to leave this particular message is anyone's guess, but it's probably safe to say that he didn't expect anyone would actually find it. He was undoubtedly just having a bit of fun. But sadly, no one has ever been able to get in contact with him to find out how he feels about his deepest desires as a 26-year-old now being known to the world at large. Considering the trouble he went to to hide it in the game in the first place, I'd say he probably finds it pretty funny. Since then, people have discovered a way to get the message to display without digging into the ROM as well. Naturally, it will require an actual cartridge of the game, as well as another game called Haja no Fuing, or The Seal of the Dark Lord. I don't know why this particular game, but it works. First, put Seal of the Dark Lord into the Famicom. Once the title screen appears, pull the game cartridge out and then put Super Monkey Adventure in instead. And voila, the hidden message will display on the TV. While it's not quite up there with the secret rant hidden in Erika and Satoru's dream adventure, it certainly adds to the rich plethora of Japanese devs hiding messages in old, family-friendly games that were most certainly not family-friendly. And there are still even more to come. But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.